Okay, here we are back on a Mets open night. Anybody can jump in, no passwords, no nothing. Jump on the stream, jump in the server. Um, we're in the RSR Porsche um, and we're at Bathurst Historic 1983. Um, and we've qualified 10th. Quite a bit off the pace. And I mean, that, that with the same colour scheme, not that you can see because the timing screen's in front of it. We're in the Porsche. Uh, other cars on the field is the Corvette. <coughs> now it is an open room, so we've got lots of randoms in. So if you get bumped, don't worry about it, just carry on. There's a lot of newbies in. Just in it for the race, man. Um, and it usually turns into a, a war of attrition. If you get a nice little pocket or up with somebody who's got the same skill level as you, then you're in for a good race. Whew, I suppose I better ready up. Not be that man. So the RSR is a handful, but absolutely brilliant on this track. I've not raced it on this track, I've just done the qualifying, but the amount of feedback you get in and the way the car's moving around, it's uh, well suited to it. So minutes. here we go. We to okay, just start the engine. Yeah, right. Sink it up, that's not good. We may get a late start. 26 people in the uh, room. Got a jump and a bump, no problem. Nobody around me. And it's noisy in these old things. First corner troubles. Yeah, keep going, Owen, keep going. As long as we're not damaged, we're all right. Let everybody settle down, it is an open room. And without these, you're not gonna get any newcomers coming into it and learning race some racecraft. Really got to be uh, aware that people might be braking early, might be taking weird lines. Just live with it. Okay. Okay, come on. Bit quicker, bit quicker, bit quicker, bit quicker. Is this the right opportunity? Yes, it is. Around the edge, she's clear. I'm in. One dispatched. Now we're settling, don't get over excited, Owen. Just been along in third here, we've got a couple of cars have gone wide. You're going to see a lot of this on this track because it's the, uh, the old vintage one. There's not really any runoff areas. You get it wrong, you're seriously going to get it wrong, especially down here. So we will take our time, check the mirror, there's nobody hammering up behind us. Just two cars trying to pass each other going down here, which is never a good idea. We'll just wait for the straight. And I've just put a little bit of lengthening on my gears for the straight. And we'll use that with a little bit of a tow. As long as you see me coming. And the reason I've done that is the Corvettes are much long legged on the straights than the Porsche. Uh, nowhere to go. Where am I going to go? My long legs are now coming into play and there's nowhere to go. Do I break early? Is he going to break early? I'm kind of backing off here. Bit of all brakes late. I'm super heavy. Smoke off the inside car. He got it stopped. Ugh. Okay, so looking in my mirrors. Just quick dump a, dump a clutch there, get the res back up. Clear those two, we're having a, a merry old battle. And on to the next. That was uh, 11th. So I don't expect to finish anywhere other than the middle of the pack. Because my time is uh, nowhere near some of the guys up front. We'll just 
just have fun with the car. Oh, okay, not that much fun, Owen. Coming back on, stay on the left. <coughs> I'm a bit too much fun there, just gave away. Okay, get your racing head on and stop looking about, Owen. Just gonna watch out because he went wide last time. Yeah, he's breaking mid corner, he was going wide again. Again, break early. Not much you can do down here other than muck up or get caught up in somebody else's muck up. Behind me. Get on the power. Just keeping his slipstream so I can maximise this uh, real extension that I've put on top gear. Here it comes into play. Hopefully, he stays on the left. It's very bumpy down here, so they are going to be wandering a bit. Breaking room. Oh, he's done it again. It's just you're going round, and suddenly it'll just go on the steer, and I'm not touching the accelerator. Don't fall for that again, Owen. It's a learning curve. Just go wide, get a big slap ang slip angle on it. That wasn't drifting, honest. Although you may have heard the Fast and the Furious music in the background. Massive slip angle. Porsches don't do slip angles, not of this vintage. I'm just trying to uh, not induce that understeer because it's uh, it's a killer. I need to keep a, a bit of a the back a bit loose, more loose than I normally would. back and he's in a battle with somebody else. So we can uh, calm down a bit here. Really, really, really light braking. It's still locking up. We're going over that hill. We're going all shapes down here. You know, it looks spectacular until somebody drops the eggs on the floor. Really are worth driving these cars if you've not tried them before. They are very seat if you bounce. So you can see by my steering wheel dancing away. On a straight line. It's cold zero, it's got sight on this. It's that on the steer again. Okay. That was a bit overkill. We got a little bit of a better exit speed. I'm not sure how because we came out of uh, like sideways, crossed up, smoking away. Now is he going to break early? I'm going to break a bit early because I don't want to uh, break really early. Watch that on the steer again. You've got to either plant it or just stay off the throttle. If you go half throttle, it will just 
Yeah, if you go half throttle or just control throttle, it'll just go into instant understeer. Cause it's now a bit fine, Owen. It's a third. So these, I'm just going to roll. If I touch that throttle, I'm going out. Okay, up to 11 from going up the inside. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I am slow so I can keep. Get crossed up again, coming every time down that hill. This thing just wants to swap ends. Got to keep the power on just to keep it straight line. Yeah, just dumping that clutch. It's a placebo effect, but I like it. We are 11th, okay. Tires are good. Gearing is good down here. About 400 RPM before we hit our limiter there. Okay. That was, that was late braking. That mopped Clear everything right. up. So, so far, Apart from the first corner, which you expect, everything's been a, a good, clean race. Despite being an open lobby, I'm going to break early here. Plant that accelerator so the back sticks out and the front doesn't slide away. as I am. Don't look in your mirror halfway around the corner I won't want you to slide. It's so counterintuitive to do that mid-corner. Just plant the throttle when you really want to control it. Really low. Down into second. Trying to induce a bit of uh, understeer has come down here. Can we get 11th back? self-fulfilling prophecy I'll finish in the middle and I'm gonna finish in the middle doesn't matter we've had a good race and that is what online racing is about getting good races if you want to join in Mets VR I'll leave a link in the description below breaking a bit earlier there waiting until I want that to on the steer to kick in. Gone late. Use this extra cut out on the track. All my usual marker points are non existent apparently in 1983. Kangaroos have stolen. Hard on the accelerator, front end starting to wash out. These really are a bit wild, these things, especially having to drive them like this. Not 
confidence over that rise every time I've been uh, battling it. Let's try and keep it in check down here this time. There's a lot of heel and toe going on, keeping this uh, revs as we drop into second. I can crash through the box in this thing. Let's get a toe. Use that extra lung gear. On your right. Still there. Don't break late, Owen. And now. Just watching for him diving up the inside, which he did one. <laughs> I just couldn't commit to flooring it then. Going in early. Juice a bit of understeer, then back to oversteer. Broken the toe a little bit. Slipping the gear, Let's take it easy on the gears, they have been slamming them pretty hard. Kind of struggling for grip there. Understeer. I'm having to race with one eye in my uh, rear view mirror here. I am not losing this guy. This is where I've got to watch it. I am going to have to brake late. Hard. Keep under control. He tells me he's not going to make a mad move down here. Oh, he's not, he's not. Get a punch. He's on the toe. Now has he altered his gearing as well? We will find out. Can he keep the toe or is he going to hit his limiter? Oof. Bounced off the road there a bit. He's staying with me, but he's not catching me. Tells me he hasn't done an extension on his gearing. We are pulling away at this point. Left side. Left. Bit of a tank slapper has got me hands crossed. Some uh, gap on here. Uh, time has ended, so I think I've got one lap to go. I think it said. Did put an extra lap worth of fuel that I would normally do. It was going to understeer then. Still can't get in my brains to uh, oh, to commit. That was bad. Let's give him a chance to catch up. Getting distracted by little blue messages popping up. Is that on the steel? Let's use it. The more I do it, the more it becomes harder just to commit that full throttle. <laughs> this is a lift. I am so slow through there, but never mind. Can we get close enough to do anything with this guy with touching the walls? This guy's caught back up on me. Is he going for a last minute? We're covered inside. 
Sorry, hit the wall as well. Go in the middle of the track. I'm not blocking him, I just don't want to bounce off onto the grass again. Last lap and all that. Open lobby racing. Just once again, Mets hosting some uh, great stuff. Thanks for watching. Let's go, Mets. Ooh, beasties. Dink. <laughs> Man, this ensues. And we had a good time. Nobody got hurt.